This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour Podcast, where we talk about all things Kansas City Chiefs. Good evening, Kansas City. It is Wednesday, July 25th, and we have some things to talk about tonight. Um, It's not really a packed show. It's more of a schedule for training camp and what it offers the community tonight. Um, It hasn't been a very busy day in training camp today. Um, You know, there's obviously always news coming out of training camp, but um, tonight I want to focus more on the community. Um, The Gatorade Junior Training Camp is on Saturday, July 27th. The clinic is led by the Northwest Missouri State coaches and focuses on football fundamentals and skill development for athletes in the ages of 12 to 14. And that's extremely important for the community. I really hope that you all get out there and and get our youth on the field and and see what the future of the Chiefs could be. You know, it's an extremely important thing. Um, You know, players coming out of, you know, or getting ready to go into Rockhurst. You know, there's some great North Kansas City schools. There's some school, great schools in Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, Oklahoma, Arkansas, um, and Illinois. And I really hope that you get your kids out there and and let's see what they can do. Let's see if we can bring some some future um, you know high school football athletes to the Kansas City Chiefs. You know, that's really exciting and that's something that I hope that all of you in the community take advantage of. Um the, you know, the camp will be held at the Spratt Memorial Complex field starting at 8 a.m. So do not be late. Get there early. Get your kids prepared. Get them a Gatorade. You know, get them some protein. And get out there and let's see what we can do. Let's get uh, some some future Kansas City Chiefs football players out there on the field. That's really exciting and I look forward to that. Um, season ticket members day for the first time in Chiefs history um, starting July 29th. The Chiefs will hold a post-practice tailgate uh, party for season ticket holders um, featuring, let's see, free parking. Um, Your online account will have the voucher for this event. So season ticket holders, that's extremely important. Uh, You need to have that um, voucher, whether it's on your phone, whether you print it out. Just do not show up without it. You you really need it. Um, You you will receive a a season ticket holder chief's flag, and it will be given each day. And also, there will be 30% off chief's merchandise at practice. Also, Casey Wolf and the cheerleaders will make an appearance following practice and also will be a autograph session. So moving on to the next thing and the schedule here is Saturday, August 4th is Family Fun Day. Bring the family out. Let's have a great day. Children under three are free. So don't don't miss out on that. We all know how important our community is, the Kansas City Chiefs, and I, I don't want any of us to miss out on that. Um, uh, food stations from Zanzino's Barbecue and Nothing Bunt, <coughs> B-U-N-D-T, Cakes, and Airmark. Uh, Airmark provides Arrowhead Stadium with concession food during the season. And, you know, the other companies will be out there providing food as well. The following Sunday, August 5th, um, wristbands will be provided for season ticket holders for the pancake breakfast to the first 500 season ticket holders and their guests. um, Providing them with exclusive... um, exclusive viewing hill um, located in the south end zone during practice which is the best seat in the house so don't miss out on that season ticket holders you have some really exclusive advantages this year and that is the first time in Chiefs history that has happened so please don't miss out on that this is a great season to take advantage of those things and um, you know you, it's it's that year. So if you're ever going to come out and you're ever going to take advantage of this situation, this year would be the year. Um, you know, that's, that's really exciting. Um, I, 
I really hope all of you take advantage of this. Um, you know, even if you're not season ticket holders, just get out there and show our chief support. It's a five dollar parking fee. There's no admission fee, and even if you can't pay for the parking fee, you walk, park across the street, do whatever you can to get over there. Um, Military Appreciation Day is August fourteenth. Um, you know, there isn't too many details on this, but I know on Military Appreciation Day, there are going to be some exclusive deals for all you veterans out there. So do not miss out on that. Get out there and show the, show the chief support um, because they support you just as much in return. So I can only imagine what the deals uh, um, and events will hold that day. But that is exclusive for veterans, and I feel like they kind of... You know, make that a special event and and hold back on on some of the deals that you all will will um, have available to you. So really, don't miss out on that. Um, I also want to touch base on the autographs. I know all of us as Chiefs fans love our team and we love our skill set positions. We love all the players on our team. So there is exclusive dates for each uh, position breakdown, and I'm going to go ahead and give you that schedule right now. The running backs um, and quarterbacks and special specialist players will be July 27th and August 11th. Linebackers, July 30th and August 12th. Wide receivers and tight ends, August 2nd and August 14th. Offensive line and defensive line, August 1st and August 7th. Defensive backs, August 6th and August 13th. Do not miss out on those things because this is what makes Kansas City great. And if you want a personal... Um, a day with the Kansas City Chiefs and you would like to to meet individual players and, and get the full experience, get out there. You know, those are all the dates. Don't miss out on that. Um, it'll be a great experience for the kids, adults, and the community as a whole. So, you know, that's one of those things is training camp. It's not just about football. It's not just about polishing, you know, our final product that we're going to put on the field. It's also about the community. So don't miss out on that. Um, It's just uh, training camp is a special time for you to really, really connect with the team. So, um, you know, they make it a point to schedule all these events. So please, please don't miss out on that. And all this is in Northwest Missouri State and St. Joseph, Missouri. So um, I look for all of you to be out there. You might see me as well. And if you do, please stop and say hi. I look forward to that. Um, exciting news. Uh, Bashad Braylon still in St. Joseph, Missouri. Um, and it's said that he's not leaving KC until a top dollar amount is put on the table. Um, and, you know, with Spencer Ware taking his pay cut, um, it, it really seems fitting that we're going to try to get a deal done. And whether it be Eli Rogers or Brashad Braylon, I think either one of them will have a huge impact on our team. So I, I hope that we, you know, get the deal done with one of the two. Um, it's, uh, it's just a process. But, you know, as we all know, I've seen some fans out there really excited about Braylon still being there. Um, a lot of fans are excited about that. So just be patient. Um, understand that it's a process and we're trying to get this done. So, um, you know, with that being said, uh, it, it's just, it, it's training camp, people. So just understand that it's a process. There's a lot going on, a lot going on. So, you know, he was walking around with our defensive coordinator today and, and, and obviously making his presence felt. So just understand what it is. Um, you know, don't get your hopes up, but don't get your hopes down either. This is training camp, uh, Chiefs Kingdom. Um, and I think, I think we're going to get the deal done. So just be patient. Um, tonight's broadcast is really just a... Um, an overall outlook on the situation that is training camp and the schedule that has laid out to be. So there will be more information this week. I look for you know tomorrow with the veterans coming in. There'll probably be a lot more news. Um, just keep that in mind that day to day. Um, there could be a lot of news. There could be not a lot of news. But I will not leave you out on anything 
Kansas City Chiefs. So I will leave you with that tonight, Kansas City. Um, and I will speak with you tomorrow. This is Richard Smith with the Kansas City Chiefs Power Hour podcast. Um, I hope you enjoyed the broadcast tonight. And I look for there to be a lot more information tomorrow with the veterans coming in. So I hope you all have a great night. And I will speak with you all tomorrow. Go Chiefs! <laughs>